Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the EU4 uh, Historical Revived or History Revived mod as Ferrara. And you're just in time to see one hell of a stack wipe. And I think it's actually the Borgia who just disappeared. Yeah, there's no Borgia now. That big Borgia is just completely gone. We've got fantastically lucky in this conflict right now. Thanks to the assistance of France, we're about to finish our Siege of Firenze. And just like that, the episode of the episodic uh, battle, I have to be careful because YouTube doesn't like certain words under two minutes. Um, thanks for that conflict from the last episode, we're now going to finally conclude it. An 81 stack taking out the five stack. Oh my god, it's terrible. Um, so as you can see, things are all going to plan. Um, I'm hoping, again, I'm, I'm very much hoping... For our next conflict to be a success, I'm going to secure that remarriage with Salute. So I am going to need all the friends in the world that I can get right now, especially since we are um, excommunicated. Right. I'm very, very intrigued to how this peace treaty is going to go down. Also, guys, don't forget to, of course, click that like button and subscribe if you do want more content like this. More EU4, more Hoi4. I upload this stuff daily. So if you want more, I can provide. So again, be sure to drop that sub and leave a comment. So looking around the map, I've also noticed the the conflict between uh, Austria and Venice has finally concluded and they the, the the Venetians have actually lost their Dalmatian lands, which is good for us. They still hold on to to Crete and they still do hold on to most of their Italian lands, but it doesn't make them weak enough for, to warrant us ranting and raving um unfortunately they are still very very strong but in other news pisa has finally capped and you know what that means it's time for separate peace treaty baby um, i'm actually going to go to the papacy first and it's time to get peacey with it first of all arezzo who okay uh next up perugia firenze oh mama oh mama mama mia that's not good um so if I take Firenze, that's a lot of people angry. But if I take Arezzo, Perugia, and Corner, it's just going to be the Pope and Venice. Now, I need to think about this logically. I'm going to leave Ancona. I'm going to ask for a lot of money. And I will ask you to also break treaty with France. And then by doing this, I'm secure enough to where I've got a noodle of Papacy land. I'm going to send that. So we now have two new pieces of land in the Genoese trade node. Immediately get to coring. Like so. And then I'm actually going to send my guy to Pisa. Take Pisa. That will cause the coalition. Luca I'm fine with. Siena I'm fine with. The Papacy, Mantua, and Venice. We're going to be very angry, but I don't think that'll be enough to join a coalition. So we're going to send that through. And that way, we've got two big chunks of land. And we've got a center of trade on the Genoese trade node. Now we just need to do one thing that I've been very, very good at up to this point, And that's being a very good, quiet, good boy. Because I do not want to annoy the powers around me. Especially since I'm already excommunicated. I'm going to keep chumming up to the French. Lorraine, you want access? You can have it. Oh, Province, you want access? You can have it. <laughs> you want something? Come and get it. You know, at this point, I'm pretty much handing everything out for free. I don't mind. I just need the mun muns right now to pay off my debts. I'm pretty sure I managed to get it all. Nope, okay, I didn't manage to get it all. I've still got two debts left to pay back, which I'm completely fine with. I'm going to turn off my... Uh... Actually, you know what? No, that's a lie. I'm going to go to my economy and reduce inflation that should knock that down and then i'm going to turn my genoese for off and i'm hoping that'll be enough good that'll be enough now all i've got to worry about is the corruption okay the corruption in the last loans so that would be perfectly fine and then these three should be called in no time right good i feel comfortable now we're starting to expand and it's into central italy where the dev's quite high so we managed to get an eight dev there and a 14 dev in arezzo Ancona was a 14 dev. Urbino's a 12. Spalletto's a 6. Terracina is a 7. Rome is a... Taking Rome is going to be the tough cookie. 
Because when it comes to taking Rome, it's going to be a messy, messy situation. Because thinking about it, I'm taking the capital of Catholicism. I'm going to anger so many people, I wouldn't even be surprised if my allies turned on me. It's that dangerous. So I need to be very, very careful. I am going to save Rome for the very last. If I can, I will take Spoleto, Terracina, Siena. Leave Rome floating on its own. Take all the surrounding territories. But I will leave Rome to the very, very last until I have a good, say, 75% of Italian land. It's a big percentage to have. And that's like, I'd like to say 1570 on time span. But still, it needs to be done. We are going up 60, 70 a day. So like every, oh sorry, a month. So every two months would be 1.4 on the increase. I'm hoping by rooting out the corruption and hopefully our uh, inflation going down slightly, we'll be able to get a decent, decent income. I'm hoping after coring both Arezzo, Perugia and Pisa, our income would be high enough to also sustain um, potentially building because I do need to start building. That's one thing I haven't been doing and I desperately, desperately, desperately need to start building um, well, let's have a look specifically. I think I should go for tax, but at the same time, like, building trade will help so much. But tax is contributing. What's contributing more to my income? Taxation, 3.6. Trade, 2.5. So it's nearly equal. It's very nearly equal. We are going to be in charge of two very important trade nodes. But I think maybe for the moment, at least, tax is the stronger one. Because we only control 10% of Genoa and 16% of Venice. That's nowhere near enough to be highly reliant on tax. So I think for now, we're just going to have to uh, to leave it be. Because I don't want to take any chances. Okay, so that's, that's an interesting development. So, firstly, the Protestant rising, the, the center of trade, the Reformation, has just happened now in both uh, Sternberg and Niederschlausitz. Um, so the German or the HRE is going to slowly now start turning Protestant. But also on top of that, the, uh, the Burgundian succession just happened. They lost all this land here. So all of this is now free, free territory. But Burgundy... Oh wait, no, it stops. Because I was about to say, what? That's strange. Burgundy, when it owned all of this territory just a second ago, was the, under the personal union of Saxony. I swear, I'm having a super, super strange run. Like, I wouldn't be surprised at this point now if France and Scotland managed to defeat England, free Northumberland, and Northumberland ended up moving their capital to London. I would not be surprised at this point if that did happen. Uh, looking economically as well, um, we are slowly but surely starting to gain a decent income. Thanks to taking um, Pisa, Arezzo, and Perugia, our economy is doing super, super well. We paid off that 0.48 corruption. On top of that, now it's just inflation, which is kind of keeping us down. We do need to pay back one more loan at $69.95 by the time we get there. Um, I'd like to think that maybe what would happen is um, the event will happen where it'll be like, oh, no, you haven't paid off your loan. Your loan extended, blah, blah, blah. And it's going to move it up to like 71 maybe. So we should be in a position where we can pay that off. Um, I'm going to do this Miltech here, Regimental Camps. Great. We are now level on Miltech around the region. So let's have a look. We are 768, 768, same as Venice, 868, okay, that's Napoli, 778, okay, so everyone around us is on the 8 tech, I can imagine by the time we get to, say, improving our military ideas just a little bit, but what's next? Morale of armies, ooh, okay, that's going to help out a lot, um, what are we also doing here? Colonialism will trigger now, this year, but where is it going to spawn? I can see it spawning in Portugal more than Spain. But then again, we don't know the colonial picture. Looking around, it's definitely looking Portuguese. Um, Portugal also managed to <laughs> block the Castilians by taking Gibraltar and Malaga. I don't know if that stops the Trastamara event with the Aragonese. I will be very, very interested to see if it does. Okay, we've fixed our relationship with the Napolese. Now with the Salutzans. So far, so good. So far, we have not had that event trigger. The Papacy. Oh, hi. Um, okay, yeah, the Papacy and the Venetians and the Mantuans really, really, really aren't happy. 
But with time, it's going to go down. I'd like to think by 1510, we should be re regarded as good boys who once had a bad boy streak. We should be perfectly fine. The French is asking for our help. Um, what even is this purpose of this battle here, Henry? What are you doing? Attack of Nevers. Oh, you're just trying to take the leftover Burgundians. You know what? Yeah, I'll accept. But don't expect a miracle from me, chap. Because it's far from it. The Savoyans are involved as well. Okay, but where are the Savoyans? They're up here. Savoy, what are you doing, bro? Okay, you know, I'm going to send my army over to here. We're going to need a new general, but I can't get one right now. I think it's finally time to start to introduce Alessandro. So what we're going to do, we're going to get rid of Folco, put him in command. Folco Diesti, it's time to serve your country properly. Get stuck in, go help the French siege down the territories that they need. The three leagues has entered into a coalition. Well, Pui, that's no good. I'm not happy with that, but I presume that's also because uh, they are... Uh, wait, hold on. Are the three leagues involved in this? No. Then why are you getting your knickers in a twist? What's wrong with you? Okay, whatever. Uh, of course, archery should serve. Yeah, I'm not going to lose army tradition. We'll serve. We'll do our bit. Everything should go to plan here. Yeah, scratch that. This is an Anglo playthrough. Nothing goes to plan, does it? Luca and Venice have also entered into the coalition. I thought it was 70 that triggers the coalition, but never mind. I'm not that lucky. I'm definitely not that lucky. I'm never going to be that lucky. I, I'm not the promised one. I need to stop the Pope from getting involved as well. Their only ally is Venice as well. <sighs> I swear, if they trigger the coalition and France doesn't help me, I'm going to be so agitated. I'm going to be so annoyed and frustrated i need to get chummy with the castilians as well if i can secure a friendship with the castilians that'd be fantastic local defensiveness yes please we need all of that that we can get because mantua has entered niverne that's finished okay fantastic go and help out in refeloir oh dearie me this is not going to plan i can see the coalition destroy me i wasn't even that bad the savoyans were far worse than me why have you got to pick a little old ferrara i swear I swear, the Pope and Venice, I will destroy you. I, You know what? If I didn't even have to take your land, you know what I would do? I would raise them. I would raise them to the ground. I would embrace Mongol, uh, Mo Mongol ideology. But I need the territory more than I need vengeance. Oh, dearie me. And it is time for the colonialism institution to drop. Now, the question is, where did it land? My money is in Lisbon. Porto. So Portugal. Okay, yeah. I was expecting it to be Portugal. Didn't know where. I figured since Lisbon was close, so it might be. But no, Porto. Okay, so Porto it is. Um, I think that should reach us fairly soon. I do want to get chummy with the Portuguese or the Castilians, preferably the Castilians. I'm going to pull out of the Papacy really quickly. I'm probably going to regret this, but I do need to get very, very close with them. We do need an ally. We need a strong one at that. So if I can secure a friendship with the Castilians. Wait, who do you hate? enemies the castilians okay so you're chill with the portuguese in that case then we'll pull out of uh, pull out of castile and i'll get close to the castilians actually no the aragonese the aragonese could be no the Ar me and the aragonese have got too many blood too much bad blood okay if i can get comfortable with the portuguese that'd be great because they're gonna be a strong naval power soon a colonial power with all of that land abroad uh gaia is a blessing indeed she is uh hopefully we can finish down sieging uh the lands in thuringia and finish off this war I, I want this war to end asap i'm losing manpower and my economy is starting to tank ever since we've joined this i just want to start building tax buildings i want to increase my economy if i can have like an income of plus five a month that'd be comfortable and i'll be happy with that but i don't want to push my luck like i really really don't want to push my luck here venice is doing a very very good job at baiting us not only are they part of the coalition but they're even insulting me I swear, Venice, listen, Doge Ottavio Giustiani, you're really, really pushing your luck. Same with the Pope, Pope Clemens. Listen here, Clemens. If I sounded like an orange, I wouldn't be too happy either. You probably look like an orange. No, that's that's fair. That's deep. That's not that... <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just so enraged because it's just like, what am I supposed to do here? Because I'm helping out France, right? But at the same time, I'm getting baited by both Venice... And the papacy. And I just, I, oh, I really want to bite. I just really, really want to bite the bait and get my revenge. But at the same time, I don't want this coalition to trigger. Granted, it's only Venice, Luca, and the three leagues. I can see the papacy joining. Thankfully, they're wiser 
than Justiani because they can clearly see that we've got a very, very loyal Henry de Valois on our side. We are taking a storm across Europe. We are sieging down all this territory and the French hopefully will end this ASAP. I don't want to go any further. I did not even know you had Haynau as a friend. Okay, that would be very, very, very beneficial. Um, we have just gone up Miltech as well. I do want to see about potentially doing any ideas. Um, that morale will really, really help us down the line. Right, we've done Dresden. And I believe that was them piecing out. Oh no, that was Glagau piecing out. That's fine. I'm actually going to bring my troops back home now. There's nothing else left to do. So Folko, dude, you can chill. I want to make sure that like, I've always got enough admin in the bank. Um, because I can see Falco dying. He's going to die a lot quicker now that I've put him as a general. He's already 47. So his 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 lifelong... Well, his life won't last long. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. Oh, dearie me. This whole, this whole coalition situation has just put a different load of stress on me. Because I just... I don't want to bottle it. We've done so well to get to this point. I just don't want to do a bottle job and just throw it all down the drain now. So I am treading very very carefully i'm going to turn off my fort funding in genoa there we go and hopefully that'll lower it enough to where we can actually do something i do need to sort this loan out now because it is starting to grow out of hand there we go that's all finished fantastic um and now that's all sorted what's our economy like yeah now that's all over our economy is looking good 1.62 that's a decent increase every month if i turn this fort back on i'll probably just go down to 6.2 on it no 110 you know what for the sake of army tradition I'll keep it on. We just need the current inflation to disappear, the loan to disappear, and then what's our war exhaustion like? How bad is that? Oh, damn, that's pretty high. Okay, right, and then we're going to wait for that to go down as well, so that'll get rid of unrest, manpower, and all that fun stuff, so we can just wait for that. Mantua has left the coalition. That's fantastic news. Finally got Diptech si si uh, 6, no, 7, uh, which is good. Can I upgrade my fleet at all? upgrade ships there's no ships that can be upgraded that's perfectly fine and we can now do our admin up to tech 8 which is brilliant as well we can now start building courthouses courthouses what do they do again state maintenance monthly autonomy change and provincial government oh that's actually really really good okay so what we'll do we'll do a lot of churches a lot of trade and then a lot of courthouses and then i don't know should i do production because i know that's the next uh, institution right what's the next inst institution Next institution is printing press. Yeah, which is heavily reliant on... Uh, which is heavily, heavily reliant on, on, reliant on dev and production. If I can unite Italy, I think I will get printing press. I'd like to think I will. We'll have to wait and see. And that is music to my ears. The coalition is finally over. Are they still angry? Very much so. But the coalition is finally over and it didn't trigger. The only one left in the coalition now is the three leagues. But hey-ho, nobody cares about them. Um, <laughs> so all we need to do now is to try and get just... Uh, chummy with all of our neighbors again make sure all these relationships are definitely good both us and savoy are ex excommunicated which makes things a little bit dangerous uh, national unrest down by one which is brilliant thank you um but yeah now we literally just need to chill we literally just need to chill until the uh the the opinion on the ae drops and then we're going to set our eyes on a new target i think i will push for venice because venice only is friends with, oh no, they're friends with naples and the papacy the Papacy are friends with Sardinia, Luca, and Venice. So, like we did with Pisa. Oh, no, but Luca's friends with Austria. Mm, okay. What we'll have to do then, we'll have to just go to uh, the Papacy. Bearing in mind, we'll bring the French and Savoyans along with us. If I can, I'll bring the Neapolitans again with us. Um, but the plan would be then to strike again at the Papacy. I will take Bergamo to block the Savoyans from expanding even further east. But now, although it looks like they're looking to go north into Switzerland, but still blocking their potential path into Bergamo. And then, I don't know, I'll take Spoleto and Terracina, fully dividing the Papacy in half, but also at the same time, taking these two because they're low dev. If I can get away with it, I'll take Siena as well. And that way we start to really form our borders properly. Sure, it leaves Ancona out. Oh, actually, no, maybe not. Maybe we do Terracina, Spoleto and Ancona. Because that way we block... The Savoyans from moving east, and we block the Neapolitans from moving north. Technically speaking. Sure, they can go around it, but still. Corsica's been annexed now. They were a vassal of Napoli, but Napoli has expanded its borders. Napoli is friends with Burgundy, me, and Venice. 
So after we've dealt the blow to the papacy and we start to turn towards Venice, we can then start dealing with Naples. Sure, it's very, very backstabby and shady because they are our friend and they have been helping us out all this time. They even took the hit in our name against the Borgias to help us siege down Avignon. But still, I, I don't know, man. We need to expand. We need to form an Italy. And I need... Wait, I don't even need... I forgot. I don't even need the South. I can actually form Italy with just the North. I just need... Oh, I'm going to need Milan. I'm going to need Milan. Granted, I can't do this until... Oh. Oh, okay. Righto. Things are getting interesting, guys. Anyway, I'm going to end it there. So thank you very much for watching. Um, if you have enjoyed, don't forget to, of course, click that like button and subscribe. Like I said at the beginning of the video, if you do want more EU4, Hoi4, Paradox content in general, general uh, be sure to click that subscribe button and click the ding a ling on the bell just so you always get pinged when we do go live every day at 2 p.m. GMT. Again, thank you very much for watching, guys. All the love, all the best. Thank you very much for watching. I've been Anglo, you've been you. Have a good one, guys, and laters.